Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be starting a new series looking at Laravel 11 with the Livewire 3 front end and Bootstrap 5 for CSS and SCSS. Laravel is a PHP framework for web artisans. Essentially, it's a framework that uses PHP and it is ideal for both beginners and advanced programmers. It contains pretty much everything that you might need to create both simple and advanced applications. It's compatible with various different web development technologies. The one that we're going to be using is Laravel with Livewire and Bootstrap. It's command line based and you can set up pretty much any class, file, blade template, whatever you need, very easily. It also manages your migrations and comes with a great database management tool called Eloquent, which is used instead of, or as well as, uh, SQL. Laravel Livewire is an incredible technology that takes the pain out of front-end and server development. For example, you can create dynamic applications such as this, without having to touch any JavaScript or Ajax at all. You can do it all within the comfort of PHP. It uses blade templates and manages everything that is JavaScript and Ajax itself automatically. It comes with support for creating forms, tables with pagination, image uploading, etc. Bootstrap is a toolkit for CSS. It creates a load of predefined styles and makes your application easy to manage. You can edit this all with additional CSS classes or using SCSS to customize the Bootstrap default classes. So in today's video, we're gonna get started with setting up our environment, our Laravel system, and installing Livewire and Bootstrap with a basic authentication back end. I'm going to assume at this point that you've already got some sort of system set up, be that Ubuntu, uh, some sort of Linux system, a Windows subsystem for Linux, or using Mac. You should also have PHP 8.2 installed, as that is required for Laravel 11. You should also have a database system set up. I'm using MariaDB because it's free and very simple to use. So without further ado, let's set up our Laravel application. We're going to use Composer to create a project in Laravel called YouTube. At this point, you may get some errors saying that you have requirements for PHP. Just Google those and it should tell you what to install, what uh, additions you need that you may not already have. Do not worry about this. This is just because I haven't got the SQLite driver uh, and PHP and I'm not using SQLite, so I'm not worried about it at all. I'm going to be using my SQL. We're then going to go into our YouTube, our project directory, and it's set up with all of these files and folders. You'll get to know these very well in the future, but for now you don't need to worry about them. Don't get overwhelmed. Next, we're going to be installing a basic UI system and authentication system for Laravel. So we're going to get Composer to just download that here. And then we're going to use U uh, PHP Artisan UI Bootstrap with auth to set this up. So this is going to set up this UI with authentication. Yes, we want to replace our controller. You may be able to hear my gerbils drinking in the background. I do apologize. We're then going to get our Bootstrap icons. And we're going to import them into this file here. This is essentially a list of all the files that need to be created, as the, that need to be pulled together for our CSS. So we're going to add that in there, and then we're going to get npm just to install everything, and then we're going to build it. So this is going to go through all those files and collate them and create our CSS and JavaScript, etc. Now that that's done, we're going to install Livewire, and then we're going to set up a Livewire layout, which will see in more detail later, but for now, just know that you need it. And then we're going to edit this layout that we've just created. And we're going to import our CSS and JavaScript. That's basically saying that when created, it needs to include both of those when we're running. So we want to save that. 
And then we want to edit our env file. This is essentially just all the config for the site. So here we're going to call it YouTube. And then this, as you'll remember from when we installed it, is where we can change our database settings. So I'm going to change that to MySQL. And I'm going to set all of them to YouTube. Not very secure, but this is for development. So we're going to go with that. If you're doing this for production, then uh, make sure you choose something more secure. So we're going to save that there, and then the last thing we need to do is set up our database. So we're going to log into that here. We're going to create a database called YouTube, and we're going to create a user called YouTube with the password YouTube. And just since this is just for development, we're going to give all the privileges of the database to that. So not very secure again, but this is just for examples. Flush privileges to update all of those, and then we can exit from here. Now we're going to use Laravel's built-in web server. So PHP running Artisan, which is Laravel's set of commands, and we want to serve. Now, this is going to give us a URL where we can access our application. And this is going to come up with an error. Don't worry about that. This is essentially saying that the database, sorry, the tables are not available on the database that it's expecting. By default, Laravel is expecting certain tables to be existing, but we haven't actually set them up on the database. Luckily, Laravel comes with a system called migration. So we're going to use PHP Artisan Migrate. We're going to cover this in a lot more detail in future episodes. For now, just know that when you run this, it's going to push a load of default updates to the database and it will get our application running. So we'll go back to serving our application, refresh, and we've got a lovely dashboard here. We've got login, we've got register. So if I register on there, We're logged in, we're registered, we can then log out, we can log back in. We can choose to remember me or not. Log in, we're back there. We can get back to the dashboard from here. So that is essentially the basics of your application started. From here on out, we can develop whatever we want, however we want it. So I hope you found this useful. In the next video, we're going to be covering using uh, Laravel and Livewire. We're going to be creating our own Livewire component. We'll be making a form that you can fill in, and it will send data to and from the client and server. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my motivation to get these videos out to you as fast as I can. If there's anything that I've missed that you think I should have included, please let me know down in the comments. Have a great day.